the gathering, I discovered Kalfus, an old friend of my hometown. After 39 years, more than 39 years, we haven't seen each other. Look what a small world this is. You come here and find me. When there are thousands of people dying to find someone, here you found me. I have always been an optimist, even at Birkenau. I had an enduring thought to live through the war so I could tell the world my story. Where did you meet your wife? My wife was born here in Herzliya. She wasn't there, but she lived through everything with me. What number do you have? 25,000. So you work in the clothing section of the woman's side, and I work in the clothing section of the men's side. And I would come and see the couple. What was his name, the German boy? I don't remember. I would come with a cup of glazer and bring the clothing from Birkenau to Auschwitz. Do you have any old photographs? Sure. One moment, I'll get them for you. Now, I'll show you some pictures of people I bet you haven't seen in a long time. Oh, this is your father, Kalfus. What was his first name? Jack. Jack Kalfus, oh yes. And this is my mother, and this is my sister Sarah. She also came to Auschwitz. My mother was also there. Here you have the Chekhanov Cemetery. This is the Jewish cemetery before the war. My father was a very wealthy man. Each week he would drive out and buy flour and potatoes for the poor. When the Germans came into Chekhanov, a strange man came around to our yard. He was selling all kinds of clothing. You know, your father was also there. My mother saw that everyone was standing outside, so she said, why do you have to stand outside for? Come into my house. Your father bought most of the things from him. Later, the same man came back wearing military clothing. An SS? No, with an SS man. They wanted to know where the man who bought the bulk of the clothing was. But my mother, denied that she knew him. When I saw that they are taking her away, I got very frightened and I followed them. And finally, one of them got the bright idea, take her too, and they took us away.